Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Vic, otherwise known as Zordak, and this video is going to talk about the Diablo Immortal build that I have created based upon various uh, other builds I've seen on YouTube and various places around the internet. This is a continual damage build, uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, first of all, while you're leveling up, like I've been leveling up since uh, Paragon level 200, uh, which is pretty much when I stopped playing the game. And what I've learned is that until you hit pretty much the server level cap, which at this time our server Paragon level is 670, uh, you're going to get increased rewards. And what you want to basically do is anytime you get a gear piece that has higher gear score, you want to go ahead and immediately equip that gear and not really worry about the set damage or anything like that because you're eventually going to respec everything anyway. So um, I don't really have any particular uh, green set of builds, although I'm pretty much favoring the the shell boss type of, of um, build. I've got the majority of shell boss things, but as soon as I get a green piece that has a higher score, I immediately equip it. Uh, because just like other games that are MMOs, like Destiny and stuff like that, your ability to get higher level gear is dependent upon your gear score. And so my gear score is comparatively low to other people on this server. It's only 11,396 at the time of this recording of this video. So uh, the goal of this video is to uh, share with you my build and uh, see if you have some suggestions and perhaps it will help you. So let's jump right into it. First thing we do is I use Skull Veil. I like the Skull Veil and I put the Everlasting Torment uh, gem on it. The reason I like Skull Veil is because it increases my mage duration by 39% and I really use mages a lot, especially in uh, the dungeons. So I love using Skull Veil. Next over here, I use Rotspur uh, with a Chain Death. And the, the reason for that is the Blighted Corpses. Corpse Explosion no longer detonates corpses, but instead releases Blight on the area. This is really cool because one of the things you can do if you're playing a very difficult dungeon, uh, we'll get into skills in a moment, but the, um, the essence of it is you want to you know, keep your distance from the enemies, especially if you're uh, beyond your skill level and you're playing with other players. You want to get in, uh, drop some continual damage for your party, and then get out before you die. So that's basically the strategy there. And because of that, I also use Clot Burst as a scythe, uh, and I'm using Freedom and Devotion. Although you could that that. Um, you could put any gem you want on there. I just use that one because that's the one I have. Uh, but uh, take a look at this damage done to enemies. It's uh, pretty much the clot burst is the corpse explosion damage is increased by 19%. That's the reason we do that. Uh, corpse explosion is really, really great, especially with groups. And with the continual damage from the previous one, it's gonna really make it even better. Uh, now, Cloak of Quills. Like, uh, when I'm running in small groups, uh, I'm also using the Seeping Bile. And so that actually increases my poison, and it adds Thorns. Uh, thorns is one of my favorite abilities in all the Diablo series, ever since Diablo 1. Or maybe it came out in 2, but anyway, I, I remember Thorns was my best ability. And what's nice about that is all of your summons have Thorns. Uh, so. That's that one. Graven Bulwark with Follower's Burden. Um, I'm basically running that. And uh, let's see. The, uh, basically, the Bone Armor duration is increased by 39%. Uh, because I'm using Bone Armor, and Bone Armor is where the thorns are on, uh, that's why my uh, summons uh, do damage, and I can send them in to do battle instead of me. Finally, I use the Baleful Trinity with a Berserker's Eye on it. And because Soulfire bounces to one additional target, 
It does a massive amount of damage. I use soul fire abilities. All right, so um, I'm gonna go into the skills next and explain why I use these skills. Uh, first of all, I, I go with skeletal mages. Uh, Big shout out to a colleague of mine uh, that made uh, a number of videos that rated the damage of every type of summon. And just the plain vanilla skeletal mages do the highest number of DPS. Um, so we kind of go with that. Uh, command skeletons. I'm again using just the basic one. And I'm not using any variants because they don't create that much more damage especially with this build then finally we're using the bone armor it causes your summons to grow bone spikes because that's the thorns to continuously deal damage to nearby enemies and this coupled with the corpse explosion is totally crazy uh, because then it detonates all the corpses but because I'm using the, the rot uh, gear piece the corpses don't actually detonate and therefore I can keep uh, hitting them over and over again creating additional damage uh, in terms of paragon points you want to focus on maxim maximizing out uh, your uh, damage and your armor penetration uh, I pretty much run Treasure Hunter all the time because I want to increase uh, the experience from deleting elite monsters. I don't really care so much about gold, but it is kind of cool. The equipment drop rate is really the reason I keep running Treasure Hunter because I'm really trying to get better gear uh, so that I can play at higher levels with my clan and increased globe drop rate. Okay, that's fairly useful, but I don't know, not really as useful as the gear. And then uh, the bonus is granted by treasure find and lucky. So the bonuses are also really key. So I pretty much run treasure hunter all the time. And so you pretty much want to stick with the, 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 the vanquisher, max out all your damage. And there's a little hidden one. I've seen very few people actually running it but also I just started adding to called Mastermind. And Mastermind does allow you to add additional points into damage. And you can actually go in from here with resistance, put one point in mutual defense, which is wasted, but then you can immediately go into damage. So uh, that's my build. At present time, I'm uh, 635 on a server that's 670. So I'm still playing catch up, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good in last month I raised around 400 points, 400 Paragon levels. Uh, so uh, ever since uh, uh, Diablo 4 beta ended, I've been pretty much diving into Diablo 4. So thanks for watching, and uh, wherever you're watching this, whether it's on Twitch or inside the clan or on YouTube, please give me a like. Most importantly, Write a comment. Love to know what you thought of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.